In this section, we're going to be looking at a lot of trigonometry, I'm afraid. So, um, in going forward, there are two triangles that I think you really should learn how to use, okay? You should learn how to draw them and how to use them. Now, back in the day, um, before calculators were able to give you exact forms, um, these triangles were absolutely necessary to learn. Um, and you can still be asked questions on the exam that use these two triangles, okay? So I'm going to show you an example of that in the next video. But this is to introduce the two triangles. Okay, so fir in, first I'm going to do them in degrees, okay? So the two triangles, here's the first one. Both of them are right-angled triangles, okay? That's the first thing. The first one looks like this. It has sides of length 1, 2, and root 3. So 1, 2, 3, but then we have it rooted, okay? Now, because that side is shorter than root 3, okay, this angle will be larger than that one. So this one is the 60 degree angle, and this is the 30 degree angle, okay? So 1, 2, root 3, and 60 and 30. So that's what it would be in degrees. Now, converting that into radians, okay, what we would have is the same length sides, but 60 degrees is pi over 3, and this angle is pi over 6. Okay, so this is just the degrees version, and this is the radians. Now, the other triangle, as I said, is also a right angle triangle, but this one is isosceles. So it's an isosceles right angle triangle. And this time, it has two sides of length 1, okay? And so the hypotenuse is of length root 2, using Pythagoras. These two angles, because of the isosceles and being right-angled, will be the same. And so they must be 45 degrees each. In radians, then, what we can do is we can say, well, 1, 1, and root 2. OK. And 45 degrees is, well, pi is 180. So pi over 2 is 90. So pi by 4 is 45 degrees. OK. And that... These are the two triangles you need to remember, okay? You can remember either of them in degrees or radians, okay? It doesn't matter which, but we do need to know and learn them in order to solve some problems that we are given. And we're going to look at one of those in the next video.